Hi. Good day. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How is it going? Good. Good? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the quarantine situation has changed a little bit, I guess. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it is it better now for you or no change? For me, no different. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I see some new people, Albina. Uh, who is Albina? Okay, who is Anastasia Didur? It's I. It's me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, I was uh, on this, on this um, lessons the last time, but my name uh -huh. was verse. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I know a little bit <laughs> you. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Uh, Dennis Bulah, Bulah, I guess. Okay, and Sevitik Yurechenko. All right, so <laughs> I don't know, they don't respond. Okay, it's fine. Um, so let me share my screen with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about gardening, gardens, like things related to that, and partially about wishes. So, um, I started with Alina. So, would like to ask you, do you like flowers, gardening, to have a garden, or do you have a garden? Mm, I like flowers uh, and uh, 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 in my hometown, in my, in my home, at home, we don't have garden, but uh, uh, my grandma has and uh, I like to spend time there because it's like a nature and you can, uh, uh, breathe, you can breathe with fresh air and I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, do you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. So, uh, what kind of gardening do you like? Mm, actually, I like uh, uh, resting in the garden. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but um, actually, you, uh, I always help my grandma if uh, we need to plant something or uh, like to. Uh, I don't know. I just help my grandma with gardening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you enjoy it or no? Uh, I enjoy helping her, not the process. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. Um, Sona, do you yeah. have a garden? Do you have no, a garden? No, I don't have a garden. My grandparents have. Mm -hmm. And do you like it? What's your feelings or what's your idea about it? Uh, I agree with Elena. I like rest in garden, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but don't like work. Uh huh. Okay. Um. I mean, if you if you are going to buy a house, a new house, would you like to have a garden of yours yourself? For example, build it. Mm, yes, but I think I um I don't work there. Mm -hmm. I want so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. only I flowers mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and fruits okay. trees mm -hmm. and vegetables, fruits. Yes, yeah. Only okay, uh, fruits. <laughs> I don't. Ah, think not, not vegetables. No, I don't okay. think uh, I uh, I can uh, so much spend time with vegetables. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. Uh, so, Anastasia, next is what yours. You I, well, my yeah. mother, she's fond of, she's fond of flowers and gardening and like anything which is related to garden. So, I mean, originally I, I'm like her. So I, I love it. I love gardening. I love to have a garden, but I have never had it uh, here. I mean, well, sure, for sure, I don't have it here. But back there, uh, we had a little, like, a small garden. So I, w I, I enjoy generally working and, yeah. 
it's just very good. It just relaxes me um, whenever I go there. Okay. So, Anastasia, An Anastasia I guess, um, is your turn. Do you think gardening is good for your health? Mm, I think yes, because uh, we do a little bit. In, uh, mm -hmm. So, we are moving. Um, Mm -hmm. So we don't say we are doing a little bit of sport. We say you are doing uh, somehow some uh, physical activities. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I mm -hmm. think. I guess. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, Elena, what are the names of some famous gardens in your city? Mm, actually, we don't have in my home t hometown. But in Ushgorod, uh, there is um, a garden with uh, different uh, uh, tropical plants. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the Botanichny Sad. It's a botanic mm -hmm. garden, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite famous. And uh, a lot of people go there, especially uh, in spring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the same thing here in Kharkiv, the same name even. Um, yeah, very good, all right. Uh, Sona, yeah. uh, what are some vegetables, w you said you don't want to, but what about some fruits you, which you want to grow in your garden? Um, in my garden? I mean, if you had a garden. Yes, I understand. Apple. Mm -hmm. um, a uh, chair cherries uh, chairs yes i i really like it mm -hmm. uh, i don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. what about the strawberries uh, no strawberry it's uh it's not tree ah <laughs> uh, yeah it's not tree but yeah Okay. No, ah, so I'm you want... lazy person. <laughs> <laughs> I only lazy person. <laughs> uh -huh, so you want trees, not not others. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So Anastasia, um, do you think trees need a pruning every year? Um, pruning, in fact. Mm -hmm. mm. What, uh, so, uh, I don't know this word. Pruning. It's like, it's like, um, you know, for example, each year they will cut off some branches to, um, mm. to trim the trees, in fact. Mm. Uh, so, actually, I think yes, because all trees need to, need mm -hmm. to be, uh, but, um, um, I don't know this word. Mm -hmm. um, so we should, we should do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you think it's okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Elena. Mm -hmm. So what are the names of some famous, no, not this one. Uh, what are names of common flower in your country? Mm -hmm. Uh, in Ukraine, there are a lot of uh, roses, mm -hmm. uh, the tulips, yes. tulips, tulips. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually, I don't know the names of flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You can say in your language if if you. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a um, it's um, a small flower with white. Uh, uh, li leaves, not leaves. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Uh -huh, okay. And what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower? I like pionies. I adore pionies because... Pines. Uh, mm -hmm. Pines, yes. I like mm -hmm. uh, the... Uh, how how it smells. Uh -huh, the smell of it. Yeah, okay. the smell yeah. of the flower. Uh, excuse me, can you repeat, please? Pione, uh, pione. Ah, yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, really very good. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, sorry, Sona. Um, next is yours. So, we retail flowers. Uh huh. 
No, you don't have. Is there a flower store near your house? Excuse me, can you repeat? Is there a flower store near your house? Um, mm, I'm reading here. Is there a flower store? Uh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you buy some, sometimes flower from there? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, we buy often uh, every uh, week. Mm -hmm. Every week, wow. And what's your favorite flower? Um, I don't know, I like everything. Uh -huh, every flowers, you love all of them. Yeah. Okay, good. That's very good. Um, Anastasia, what are some things that need to be done in the garden in the spring? Mm, in the spring, so uh, we should um, we should um, I don't know, so um, we should cut maybe the trees so mm -hmm. the, the, the branches um, yes, we should uh, water in the flowers mm -hmm. Uh, as usual, not also, uh, not only in uh, spring, so uh, all the time. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. we want to have a uh, beautiful uh, flower, flowers and trees, mm -hmm. we should water them. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Elena. What are the some What are some names of gardening tools? Do you know any? Uh, I know uh, spade. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm not sure this word uh, rake or raker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, rake or raker? What raker. You... Raker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all. Okay. Uh, Actually, about... I don't know the names in Ukrainian. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, okay. I understand. Um, do you know shovel? What shovel? is shovel? Mm -hmm. um, actually, it word seems familiar to me. <laughs> But I don't so think. shovel is something that we use to dig to dig the soil. Ah, yeah. yeah. I, no, I know. So, yeah, yeah. It's something that we uh, use for digging the soil and putting the flower inside the soil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, Sona, um, yeah. would you prefer to have a flower garden or fruits garden? Fruits garden mm -hmm. and why because uh, have uh, your own fruits in your garden it's really good it's healthy mm -hmm. i know it's uh, good fruit <laughs> without mm -hmm. uh, uh, chemic mm -hmm. uh -huh. without uh, without harmful chemicals mm -hmm. yes. okay all right <clears throat> uh, anastasia what do you like best a landscape garden or formal or the formal garden mm -hmm. are you there okay she's not here uh dasha are you here yeah hello all right hi today we are talking about uh gardening and gardens so my, i'm going to ask you this question do you have a garden? Oh no, I live in a flat, but my grandpa has. Uh huh. And what's what do you think about gardening and having a garden? Do you like it? Um, I think uh, that's a great idea to have a garden outside your house when you live mm -hmm. in a house. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Maybe some some maybe in the future when I'm going to be uh, an old granny, I'm going mm -hmm. to live in a private house. So. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have a garden uh, with uh, a lot of flowers and maybe mm -hmm. orchard uh, with, I mean, mm -hmm. fruit orchard, yeah? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, that's all. Without potato, I think, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> so I just see. like <laughs> fruits, uh, fruits uh -huh. or veg vegetables maybe, mm -hmm. but not potato. I don't, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> yes, I see. Okay, thank you. Um, so, Elina, the mm -hmm. same question. What do you like best a landscaped garden or the formal um garden 
And uh, actually, I don't understand the difference. Between... Well, formal mm -hmm. garden is something that is very clean and is, is very artificial type of gardens. Mm -hmm. But landscape one is very unique and very natural. So humankind will not, will not do anything with that at all. But with formal garden, we trim everything. We try to clean, like, I don't know, different things that makes it look formal, not, na not natural, in fact. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I prefer landscape garden mm -hmm. uh, then because uh, uh, I like, as Sonia said, I would like to have um, a lot of uh, fruit trees. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, if you have a tree uh, garden, trees, trees garden, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, um, it's no need to um, to take care of it like very often. Uh, mm -hmm. So there is no need to. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. there is no need to uh, mm -hmm. uh, to care about it very often, and uh, uh, it can uh, help you in the future. For example, it, uh, if you have uh, uh, big trees, then mm -hmm. it's a shade, and in a hot summer day, you can hide there and just relax. Yeah, sure. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now, how does your family help you? when you are gardening uh, of, or how do you help your grandparents if they are gardening mm, actually my grandparents uh, anymore don't wo uh, work in garden so anymore goes to the end they don't work in the garden anymore okay yes yes mm -hmm. and so yeah so you don't actually work at all in the garden okay uh, yes. what about what about when you are a child um, would you help them? I mean, where are you helping them? Uh, yes, I help. Um, I help them. Uh, mm -hmm. I help them. Um, I don't know how to English say it. Polivat. Mm -hmm. um, to water, to water. It's to water. Uh huh. Yeah. To water, watering the. To water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, nice. Uh, Dasha, mm -hmm. which do you prefer for your garden? Organic or chemical fertilizers? Uh, one more time. <laughs> uh, yes. uh, do I use the chemicals? Uh, or what? Yes, we have two types of felt fer fertilizers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They fertilize these uh, like flowers or stuff like that but we have two ways one of them is organic which is the natural way mm -hmm, mm -hmm, another mm -hmm. one is chemical through using some i don't know chemicals to fertilize them oh i think it's better to use um, 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 natural mm -hmm. uh, as for me um, because um, it's better for the earth <laughs> and for mm -hmm, us when mm -hmm. we eat the for example, fruit or vegetables from our mm -hmm. garden. So that's why it's better to use natural. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And uh, Elena, what is your national flower? And do you have it in your garden? I mean, in Ukraine's national flower. Uh, we have, uh, I know one of the Ukrainian national flower is Chernobrevets, uh, but I don't know the translation in English. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of uh, these flowers in my uh, grandma's house. And also uh, we have uh, uh, Mak, it's, uh, it's Poppy, if I'm not mistaken. Poppy? Yes. It's like uh -huh. it's also uh, one of the national flower of Ukraine, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, it is like uh, only for beauty and <laughs> as all flowers. I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so, Sona, do you like to eat fruits? And what's your yeah. favorite one? Uh, yes, I like it. Uh, my favorite one it's uh, garnet. Mm-hmm. Garnet. Uh, okay. Garnet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Orange. Mm -hmm. Uh banana. Bananas, okay. Mm -hmm. Bananas. What about summer fruits? Uh strawberry. I like strawberry. strawberry. Yes. Okay, nice. And Dasha cherry. how uh-huh, cherries, yeah. 
Um, mm -hmm. Dasha, how often do you eat fresh fruit? Oh, every day I eat an apple. Uh, I mm -hmm. like green apples. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's why I usually have apples in my fridge. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, fridge. And, yeah. Uh, oh, I like oranges when I watch a film. Uh, mm -hmm. In the evening, I am on a diet, so that's why I can't eat something sweet, just mm -hmm. vegetables. So that's why I can eat fruit, and mm -hmm. my choice is oranges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's all. Oh, kiwi and kiwi. Kiwi, okay, all right. Um, so you are eliminating sugar from your diet? Yeah. Cut it's so food. hard. Oh, I yeah. Understand. Cut out. I understand. <laughs> it's so hard, yeah. I, I wanted to do the same, but I couldn't. Like, I couldn't last one day because I was getting depression. So mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't cut sugar from my diet. I, I try. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. Yeah, okay. Uh, Elena, next is yours. Uh, in your opinion, what's the most delicious fruit? It's a difficult question. I can <laughs> choose one. <laughs> no. Okay, it's okay. If you like, you can, you can choose some of them. Some of them. I like watermelon. I like mm -hmm. cherries, strawberries. Mm -hmm. Um, I like apricots, peaches, mm -hmm. um, what else? Almost, uh, I like almost All everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I understand, okay, that's good. That's very good. And uh, how often do you eat fruits? I try to eat fruits every day, every uh, day. Mm -hmm. especially apples, yes, mm -hmm. because uh, um, you can find them everywhere. But mm -hmm. now um, I saw in the grocery that there are strawberry and I want to eat it now. <laughs> oh, really? There are? Okay. Yeah, but, oh. but uh, um, it is very uh, um, chem chemical fertilized, yes, so it's not, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's not organic right mm -hmm, now because mm -hmm. it's not the uh, season. Uh -huh, it's not the season yet. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you, Sona. Do you think yeah. that fruits and vegetables are good for your health? And can you explain how they are good? How, what kind of benefits do they have for our, for our health? I, I think it's, uh, it's uh, good for my health. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they have, uh, uh, they have uh, vitamins. I don't know. I say it correctly. Yes, vitamins, yeah. Vitamins, mm -hmm. vitamins. Vitamins uh, is the German version, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, cellulose mm -hmm. um, and uh, so many things. Mm -hmm. Minerals, maybe some yes. minerals. Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. It's difficult to English say it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. And some antioxidants are also, they, they yes. have, okay, all right. Yeah, so they're Water. good for Water, okay. Mm -hmm. Fructose is a kind of fruit, sugar, okay. Yes. So, uh, Dasha, do you think uh, that fruits and which, no, I asked this person, please. Are you or would you like to be vegetarian by any chance? Oh, vegetarian? Mm -hmm. I, I thought about it some days ago, you know, but I mm -hmm. think uh, I can't. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. I can, um, I can't cut out uh, sugar, sugary products from my diet, mm -hmm. but I can't uh, live without a piece of chicken. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I like cooking, so that's why I like baking. Um, mm -hmm. or, um, yeah, I like baking, but I mean about not baking, roasting. Uh -huh. uh, to roast uh, the chicken in mm -hmm. the cooker, cook. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> so in the uh -huh. in, in the, the oven. Oven. oven, yeah, that's right, that's mm -hmm. word. Okay. So that's why uh, it's really important for me to cook meat, and uh, I can't live without meat. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, okay. Sure. And next question, Elena. So. Uh -huh. How often do you drink fruit, ju fruit juice and what kind of fruit juice do you drink and do you like, in fact? Mm, I don't drink juice very often, but mm -hmm. uh, I would like to drink it off, uh, like uh, more times than I mm -hmm. do now. But um, uh, which, what kind? Probably 
I like apple, apple and grape juice. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, if I drink, it's not like a, a fresh, uh, fresh juice. Yes, it's. Uh, I buy it uh, in the supermarket. And yeah, you may. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because uh, mm-hmm. it's uh, m- much difficult to do it like at home. At home, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, somehow. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, um, Sona, do you, li- do you like to eat fr- fruit salad? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Sure. And, uh, <laughs> it's a what- very easy question. <laughs> yeah, it's a very easy question. And um, so, what kind of fruit salad do you like the most? Or... What fruit salad do you like with what kind of fruits? Uh, I think everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really Ever- everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Do you like ananas? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Very good. Uh, Dasha, what kind of vegetables and fruit do you buy at the supermarket? Mm, we buy apples, oranges, bananas sometimes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, or fruits and veg- vegetables. Oh, potato. I eat a lot mm-hmm. of potato. And mm-hmm. uh, what else? Oh, cucumbers. I like cucumbers. Uh-huh. And salads. So, so that's why we eat a lot of onion, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Mm-hmm. All right. Very good. Um, Elena, what the means? What the means the saying? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I think it means that uh, if you eat uh, a lot of uh, fruit and vegetables, then mm-hmm. you can stay uh, 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 stay healthier for mm-hmm. a longer time, for a longer mm-hmm. period. And mm-hmm. uh, like fruit and vegetables uh, include uh, a lot of vitamins. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, in, ap- uh, in the apple there are a lot of... Uh, um in in ukrainian it's uh, i don't know like direct mm-hmm. translation it's iron is it correct in apple to say iron yes I, iron i haven't heard that okay uh, no it's Perum. like uh, excuse me can mm-hmm. you repeat please ferrum ferrum probably <laughs> it's, chem- it's chemistry okay it's fine it's like right. uh, the uh, one of the vitamins uh, if, uh, if we can say vitamins it. okay vitamins uh, yes mm-hmm. all right i don't know i don't know this name okay um so sona i w- but i have a problem with this sentence keeps the doctor away doctor is not a problem the disease is problem so it was better <laughs> yeah. if it so if it was written an apple a day keeps the disease or illness away was much better. Okay. So, Sona, do you agree with this statement? No. <laughs> it's really no. painful. <laughs> Please. <laughs> sure. Yes, it's not a good thing for your yes. career. Okay, I understand. Um, I don't so... want uh, people, uh, people so afraid of us. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good that they be afraid of of uh, yes. doctors. Sure. Okay. What are the most common fruits and vegetables in your country? In Ukraine, it's apple and potatoes. Mm-hmm. Apple and potatoes. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, Dasha. Can fruits and vegetables help you cure diseases? Cure diseases? Oh, I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm, if you eat them every day, so they can help you to mm-hmm. <laughs> to stay healthy. Uh, mm-hmm. But oh, sometimes maybe uh, when we uh, feel something like a cold, uh, mm-hmm. so you can drink tea with lemon, and it can mm-hmm. help you because there are a lot of vitamins. Vitamins. Uh-huh. Vitamins, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. and uh, I usually don't use the um, fruit or vegetables to help me stay healthy or to become mm-hmm. healthy so i just know about the uh, lemon <laughs> yeah they can they can help with some minor problems mm-hmm. for example mint do you know what is mint mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah uh nowadays they use mint ingredients to make some drugs for indigestion and to help your digestion system in fact okay so in some cases maybe it can mm-hmm. help Okay, uh, Alina, can fruits and vegetables help you lose weight if you are on a diet? 
Mm, actually, I'm not sure mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, I I've never been on a diet, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe because uh, uh, there um, it no they uh, doesn't uh, don't include uh, fats and uh, or, or maybe include I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, I know that fruits and vegetables are healthy food. Maybe they mm -hmm. okay. will help you to stay healthier and not uh, uh, probably eat a lot of junk food. And then mm -hmm. maybe uh, you can lose your weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said you said they don't include. It's better to say they don't contain. Okay? Contain, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Contain. All right, good. Thank you. Um, oh, can I add some? Uh, I read sure. about. I read about ginger. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I was in a diet many times. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so lucky you that you <laughs> have never been. Okay, so and I read. Uh, yeah, so ginger can help um, your stomach. Or, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it can help you uh, if you are on a diet. So ginger. It's the mm -hmm. only uh, fruit that I know that really works. And how does it help? Uh, I, I can't explain. It's uh, it helps uh, your the product products inside you to. Um, I don't know how to say it. It helps you so. Okay. <laughs> I work at two. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's right. So. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. Uh -huh. uh, vegetable uh, or fruits it's really a good alternative mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, s uh, chocolate sweets and um, uh, in uh, vegetables uh, cabbage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's really good uh, because uh, it's really have um, uh, low uh, calorie and mm -hmm. uh, you can eat so much <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A, a lot of cabbage <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's really help weight uh, of um, loose weight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay yeah all right um, so again back to Alina do you cultivate fruits or vegetables in your garden I mean in your future garden if uh, you want to have future garden uh, yes I would like to have uh, but Probably, actually, I don't know. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. fruits, because mm -hmm. um, I uh, eat fruit, uh, a lot of fruits rather than vegetables, and mm -hmm. um, yes, probably fruits. Uh -huh. But maybe when I be uh, when I become a grandma, and then uh, I will uh, grow some vegetables for my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Shana. Do you like to use things that have a fruit smell? For example, perfumes which they smell like a fruit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and why? Like, do you, why do you it's, like uh, to? This smell, it's really uh, like spring. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's very mild. Yeah, it's very mild. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Good. So, Dasha, what's the most delicious fruit in your opinion? Uh, mango. Mangoes, okay. Yeah. And how many vegetables? Sorry. No, I didn't say anything. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so do you think... Why am I... Why do we have this question again? So, how many vegetables? Or oh, not this one? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. I'm <laughs> Okay, this question. Do you like to use things that have fruit smell? The same question like Oh, some. yeah. I like it very much. I like the smell. It, it can... Oh, if you have a bad mood, it can help you, especially at work. Uh, it can help you to feel better. Uh, if you have something that smells like, uh, for example, an orange, uh, mm -hmm. to, it, it helps you to think positively. Uh, to say, think mm -hmm. about spring, about uh, freedom, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. mm -hmm. and so yeah, 
Mm -hmm. so okay. I think it helps us. So it's really important uh, to have smells, good smells around you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. Very good. Now we are going to talk about the grammar structure of uh, wish. So I want to ask you, when do we use the word wish? In what situations? When we wish Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. what else what other situations um uh, if you uh, would like to have something but you don't have it mm -hmm. okay what else congratulations okay what else do you know this word regret what regret regret yes, yes. it's it's a thing you have done in the past and you think that you should have done that differently and you're like oh i wish i did it in another way mm -hmm. like you had an exam yesterday and you didn't study well for that you got a bad mark and you say i wish i studied better mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. or i wish i had studied better so this is uh, we use wish for showing regression, things we regret about in the past. Now, you see in this photo, I want to ask you, what do you see, Alina? What do you see in this photo between these two people? What's going on? Mm, the girl mm, mm, said that, uh, I wasn't surprised, uh, she regrets that she's fat. <laughs> She, no. she regrets? No, she doesn't say that. She says, if only I wasn't so fat. Uh, uh, it means it... Uh, um, it means I wish I wasn't so fat. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this girl is saying, I wish you wouldn't say that, Jessica. You aren't fat. So, we can use I wish. Um, we can use I wish and if only. They are the same. If only... And I wish they are the same, the same meaning, the same usage. To express a wish, Jessica wishes she was a slimmer. Now, if only is a little bit stronger and more emphatic than wish. So it's a little bit stronger, but in fact, the meaning is the same. We can use clause with if only on its own, or we can add another clause. What does it mean? What, what does it mean, clause? It means it can act like conditionals or it can be used as wish without any other clause like this if only i wasn't so fat or you can say that in uh, second like second conditional if only i wasn't so fat i would be able to get into these trousers so it can be used as conditionals or can be used like wish just with one clause now wish can be used with would I wish you would put those shelves up soon. Tom wishes his neighbor wouldn't make so much noise. If only you would try to keep the places tidy. Now, when we use wish plus would, we express a wish for something to happen or stop happening. For example, you have a very annoying neighbor, okay, who is always making noise, is very annoying. You say that I wish my neighbor wouldn't make this much noise. So whenever you want to change someone's, um, I don't know, activities or some, some things that he or she does, or you want that person to start doing something. For example, you got a child and this child doesn't like to go to school, doesn't want to study at all. You say, I wish he would study more or I wish he would do his homeworks, okay? So we use wish plus would to say or wish for something to happen or stop happening. Now, wish is a little bit different from every other thing in English. Whenever you want to wish for something uh, for past, like whenever you want to talk about past, you will use past perfect. So in fact, you go one tense backward. So if you want to talk about past, you have to choose, you have to use past perfect. If you want to talk about present, what should you use? Past simple. Past, yes, past simple. So it's like different from other situations. If you are going to talk about now, you have to use past. If you want to talk about past, you have to use past perfect. 
Okay. So, I wish I lived in a big city. It's so boring in the country. We all wish we had more money, don't we? So, wish and if only with past tense verb express a wish for things to be different now. We are wishing for now, in fact. If only I was taller, I might be better at basketball. We can use were instead of was. So, if only I were taller, you can use it. It's okay. Uh, only in here, in with I. So, but we cannot use would in this sentence. But we can use we can use could. I wish I could sing. Yeah, but I can't. I feel so hopeless. If only I could speak the language. Yeah. All right. Compare wish and would and like with the past. I wish something exciting would happen. So this is different from the second one. I wish my life was more interesting. Now, would is when we, when we wish for something to change, yeah? Uh, as I told you in previous exercise. So I wish for an action in the future. So whenever you use would, in fact, you are talking about some changes in future or near future. When you use past tense, you are talking about now, and you say you are talking about your like current situation what's what's going on now okay and for wish with past perfect we use it for talking about past so um to express about the past some examples elena could you read one number one um example yeah number one um, I wish you had told me about the dance. I would, I would have gone. Yeah. So this is actually happening all in the past. There is no result in in the present time. Okay. Um, Sona, next example. I wish. I wish I'd got up early. I'm behind uh, with everything today. Yeah. What does it mean? I'm behind with everything. Mm, means you uh, you are late yeah you plan to do something on time but now you are doing that late so you mm -hmm. are behind that okay good dasha next please mm -hmm. um i wish you hadn't uh, lost that photo it was a really good one okay yeah and if only david had been a bit more careful he had have being all right okay all right i think if this is uh, he would have he would have been all right okay so here if only is having two claws and is like um is like which conditional here which conditional do we have here the third yes the third it's the third <laughs> conditional okay good um, so let's do some exercises. Let's start from Alina, please. Number one. So here, mm -hmm. what might you say in this situation? Begin with I wish. To someone who never answered your email. I wish you'd answer. You would answer my email. To someone who makes rude remarks about you. I wish you wouldn't make rude remarks about me. To someone who won't hurry up. Mm, I wish uh, you uh, aren't. Hurry. I wish you. It's it's difficult. Wouldn't. I wouldn't. wish you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Okay. Whenever you want to change something about someone, so you don't like that this fact that person is always in hurry. You say, I wish you wouldn't hurry up every time, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, number two, Sona, please. I wish you um, would wash up. Mm -hmm. You would do the washing would, up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would do washing up. Okay. All right, good. Dasha, next. Mm -hmm. uh, to someone who isn't telling you the whole story. Uh, I wish you wouldn't tell me the whole story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elena, next. 
uh, to someone who blows cigarette smoke in your face, uh, I wish you wouldn't uh, blow cigarette smoke in my face. Yes, very good. Sona? To someone who won't tell you what he's thinking. I wish you you wouldn't tell me what you think. No, you would. You would. You would tell me. What you're, uh -huh. what you're thinking okay very good now we are going to do some exercises with wish and the past okay so wiki is fed up what is she saying use i wish or if only so she can't think straight i wish i could think straight okay uh this is not past in fact it's about present okay but we use past for this as it, as i told you okay number one alina um, she is so tired. Tired. I wish uh, I could. Uh, I no, couldn't. you don't need could. You don't need could here. Ah, uh, ah, I see. Uh, I wish I uh, uh, didn't be. No. Uh, I wasn't so tired. Yes, wasn't. I wasn't so tired. Okay, Sona. Number two. Headaches. I wish I. Uh, didn't. Mm -hmm. Get yes. headaches. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dasha. Next, number three. Her work isn't going well. Uh, I wish. It's about me. Uh, I wish my work wasn't was 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 going well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alina. Uh, she can't concentrate. I wish I could concentrate. Okay, Sona. Life is so complicated. I wish um, life uh, was so uh, wasn't wasn't, wasn't mm -hmm. so complicated. Okay. Yes. All right. Good job. Now, wish with past perfect. So you will complete the sentence with these words, accepted, caught, found, played, saved, and stayed. So you have to use these verbs for these um, sentences. Now I'll read the first example. I spent all my money. I wish now that I had saved it. So saved is used. Okay, Dasha, I missed the train. I really wish. I caught it. Oh, this sorry, is, I had, 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 uh, had caught it. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, next, Alina. Uh, Rita left the party early. Nick wishes uh, she uh, had uh, uh, stayed mm -hmm. there. Stayed longer. Okay. Ah, longer. Good. Okay, Sona. Emma, Emma. refused the uh, offer. But mm -hmm. her parents wish. Um, ah, uh, but he, her parents wish. Uh, she, uh, she uh, had accepted. Yes. So now we are talking all about past. Everything that happened in the past. Okay. Good. Number four, Dasha. I don't care about for the key. I wish I. One second. I had found um, it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Alina? Uh, the injured player could only watch. He wishes he uh, had uh, played mm -hmm. again. Yes, okay. And you, what else can you say in number five? Mm. Okay, it's fine. It, it will be complicated. Okay, let it be. Okay, number D, part D. Um, so now we are going to complete this conversation and you have to use uh, like future, past and past perfect uh, wishes here. So let's just start from Sona. Oh, Henry, you are giving me another present. It's very sweet of you, but I wish you wouldn't give me so many presents. Claire. I've been thinking I shouldn't have asked you to marry me. I wish now that. Mm. 
I don't know, maybe someone else uh, and I try okay, to understand. Okay, what do you think? What can we say here? Number one. Uh, I, I, I hadn't to, uh, done it. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish now, so it's about now. Uh, um, I didn't. You, ha you have to use wood here, in fact. I wouldn't. I wish now that I... Ah, no, no, this one is, uh, uh, this one is past. Not past perfect, but like you were oh. saying correctly. I wish. I didn't. Uh huh. I, I wish. I didn't ask, ask you. you to marry me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can also say past perfect. I wish I hadn't asked you mm -hmm. to marry me. Okay. All right. Good. Next. Who want to say that? Now mm -hmm. you're talking nonsense. I wish. Mm -hmm. It's about some, you want to change someone's behavior about something, or you want to change something to happen. Maybe no. I, I would. Uh huh, okay, mm -hmm. complete this. I wish. I wish I would. Uh, Not I, you uh, would. Uh, you would. Uh -huh. I wish you wouldn't uh, talk. Uh, you wouldn't talk uh, nonsense? Yes. I mm -hmm. wish you wouldn't talk nonsense, Henry. Okay, Henry. I'm not a young man, am I? Of course I wish. It's about future. No, it's about... No. It's, about it's not about future. It's about past. Oh. I would be young. I wish I, this one, passed. I were? Uh-huh. Younger? Younger. Uh-huh. I wish I, I was younger or I were younger. Okay. Uh, why don't you listen? If only... If only you would listen mm -hmm. to me listen to me just this once okay all right next number five why couldn't we have met 20 years ago i wish we have met we had we met. had uh -huh. met. we had met uh, you then you mm -hmm. I wish I had met you then. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Henry, 20 years ago, I was just starting a school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, very good. Thank you so much. Sorry if it was a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. Well, now you know wish and if only, at least. Okay, so I want to ask you to do one thing. Tell me about your three wishes with three different, uh, like, times for three different times. One for past, one for past perfect, one for past, one for, I mean, one for now and one for future. We can start from Elena. Mm, I wish uh, I would uh, study harder. Mm -hmm. um, I wish, uh, uh, if only uh, I, uh, were uh, shorter? Can I say that? Shorter? Ah, oh, you're so yes. tall. I'm quite tall. <laughs> okay, no, it's 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 an advantage. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, if uh, I wish I uh, uh, had uh, told you this. Uh, uh, last week? No. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can. Last yeah, week. you can, you can. Yeah. Okay, Sona. Uh, I wish I uh, I had started learn uh, foreign language. 
learning uh, foreign mm. languages in school. At school? At school, at school. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish... Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> It's okay. Think I'll, about two other examples. I come back to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dasha. One second. Uh -huh. I wish. Uh, I wish I wasn't on a diet. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I hadn't eaten so much sweets in the past. Mm -hmm. And I wish I would be about fifty kilos kilos next week. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> All mm -hmm. of my problem. <laughs> have the same wish with Dasha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And now, Sona, can you complete your wishes? Uh, I wish uh, I were I were taller. Then mm -hmm. I I have went to uh, war heal. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I wish. Uh, in, in future, how we can would see? would it would. I, I wish uh, I would uh, lose five kilo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Now some questions with um, where is that? Uh huh. Um, what are uh, from Alina, what are three wishes you have for life? You said, um, if you could only, uh, if you could choose only one of these to come through, which would it be and why? What wish could, would you choose to come through? Mm, from that that I just named, <laughs> or I which, can change. <laughs> yeah, you can change. You can say something new. Okay. One of the, uh, actually, uh, one of my wishes wishes is uh, um, to see the whole world. So mm -hmm. I would like to travel a lot and uh, to visit uh, uh, each country. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, Sona. Next question: What would be some positive and negative consequences if each of these wishes come true? I mean, you talked about some of your wishes. Consequences means results, if you don't know. So mm -hmm. can you tell us about some positive and negative consequences of uh, some of your wishes, if they come through? Uh, positive moment, if uh, I uh, had uh, started uh, learning English at school, I now I can speak uh, fluently uh, in this language. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good, okay. I can see negative moment. <laughs> uh huh, okay. Uh, so, Dasha, next question. Mm -hmm. mm. What other wishes do you have for yourself? Other wishes do you have for myself? Mm. One second, it's about future. Uh, I wish I would. Uh, oh, I wish I would have uh, a big house, and uh, I could. Uh, so then I could have uh, dogs and cats in my house mm -hmm. because now I live in a flat and I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I understand. That's a bad thing. And uh, all right. And cool. Thank you. Um, so, Alina, what? wishes do you do your parents have for you uh, my parents wish uh, i would uh, uh, graduate uh, from university mm -hmm. uh, and uh, find a good job a good uh -huh. job okay mm -hmm. all right so now um is do, do, does your parents uh, or do your parents Wish the same for you as yes. Elena's? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what wishes do you have for your country, uh, Sona? 
I uh, I wish this in my country. For uh, my country. For my country. Uh, um, it uh, it uh, was uh, yes. It uh, won co corruption. Corruption. Uh huh. I wish it would stop corruption. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it, it's uh, the reason why uh, we have uh, most of uh, homeless people, we have so economic problems, we have so uh, the problems in um, our hospital because mm -hmm. uh, really financial problems, it's very important for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I see, okay. Um, Dasha, next question. What wishes do you have for your family members? Oh, family members. I wish um, my family members would uh, have a happy life and stay healthy all the time. Mm -hmm. Always, okay. for always, mm -hmm. and stay with me. And uh, uh, I wish my family uh, would have the same tradition year after year to meet uh, before Christmas and mm -hmm. uh, save this tradition. Mm -hmm. and that's all <laughs> very Stay. good okay yeah. yes all right um so alina what wishes do you have for your classmates mm, i wish uh, we would uh, pass our state exams and mm -hmm. our <laughs> year papers so mm -hmm. it's the only wish <laughs> for okay. now i understand okay um so, Sona, how have your wishes changed since you were young? Mm -hmm. For me, uh, it's important um, um, to be close, uh, to be um, uh, with uh, my close and uh, really good friends uh and now i think i uh, can understand how important it's for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. it is for you okay all right dasha when you were young how did, did you answer to this question what do you want to be when you grow up uh i wanted to be an actress <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So yeah, it was my dream, yeah. and I uh, I uh, even went to the special uh, actor classes, mm -hmm. but then I entered the university, and that was you stopped. the end. Yeah, it, that was the end of my actor career. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so what about now? Do you think about it anymore or no? Oh no, I'm uh -huh. too. I can't say that I'm too old, but uh, it's just oh, a dream. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, okay. and uh, it uh, will stay a dream, I think. Maybe mm -hmm. my children, I don't have children now, but maybe in the future, <laughs> they're going okay. to be, and I'm going, uh, be a mother of a famous actor or actress. So Okay, yeah, yeah. still you have the choice. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah okay. Alina, uh, have you ever had a wish come true? Yes, mm, mm -hmm. a lot of like a lot of wishes uh, uh, came true, and uh, one of the latest was my trip to Paris. Mm -hmm. um, I have been dreaming to go to Paris uh, since I was uh, I don't know fifteen. <laughs> so uh, do you do you sorry do you dream now event now? Uh, no. No. So, so why did been? you say? Uh huh. Had been dream. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. So. Uh. Yes. And uh, last autumn, I went to Paris, and my dream came true. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. All right. Nice. And no. Sorry, Sona. So. Um. Why do we wish for things we don't have? What's your opinion? Uh. I think. Um it's helped us to move on and mm -hmm. uh, uh, and to improve myself 
Mm -hmm. Ourselves. Mm -hmm. Ourselves, yes. Okay, very good. Dasha, if you have a wish but your family doesn't agree with you, what, wish, what should you do? Um, we should talk about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Uh, sometimes it happens that uh, the teenagers... Mm, oh, no. The parents of... No, one second. Teenagers' mm -hmm. parents. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> teenagers parents uh, parents don't understand uh, the the children's choice, but it's mm -hmm. important to speak about it before mm -hmm. they have an argument. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's why I think the only way is uh, to find the common uh, the, um, solution for both sides. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elena. Mm -hmm. um, did you have any strange wishes when you were, for example, child? Um, I don't remember, but now, actually, now I uh, have a strange wish, mm -hmm. and uh, my parents always joking about it. Uh, I um, once I saw a video about a guy uh, um, who jumped. Uh, it's like it's called. Uh, uh, wing suiting or something like that. It's mm -hmm. uh, uh, almost the same as the jump with parachute, but uh, um, they it is like a suit with uh, with wings. <laughs> I I know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, my dad uh, is always joking like you want to be like a, a fly uh, uh, smashing mm -hmm. on the glass. <laughs> and uh, okay. yes, but <laughs> yes, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, one day I will uh, do it. But uh, I like uh, uh, to watch uh, such kind of videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing that with us. So, um, Sona, why are wishes very important to people? Uh. I think I answered this question. Yeah, you said that they, they help us to keep going, yeah. So yeah. do you really want all your wishes to come through? Uh, uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, this one. And do you really... Uh, I can't show you because my, my, my pencil is not working. So do you really want all your wishes to come through? Uh, uh, not of all, but most mm -hmm. of all. Most I of want. them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dasha, what would be one thing you wish, uh, sorry, you would wish for your, or your spouse? Your whom? Spouse. Sorry. It's like, Husband? yeah, fiancé. Ah, uh, oh, fiancé. My, mm-hmm. I wish uh, he would have a great business. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's I the main, know. yeah. And uh, it's really important for both of, of us. If mm -hmm. he is going to have a great business, we are going mm -hmm. to have a great life. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I understand. So, you mean in future or now? Oh, uh, it will be better now. now <laughs> <so>. <laughs> But uh, even if uh, he had the he he would have uh, this opportunity in the future, it will be great. I can okay. wait. Okay, can you say your <laughs> sentence one more time in about present time? Okay, uh, about present. Uh, mm -hmm. If um, oh, I wish he would have, yeah. No, no. I no. wish he had. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I wish he so, had a great business. Yep. Yes, I wish he had a great business. So when you say this, it means you are wishing for now, for mm. present time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Um, so, um, uh -huh. Alina, what would be one thing you hope your spouse remembers most about you if you were to die before him or her. Oh my God, that bad question. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry for this question. It's a little bit romantic. So, no, I, like no, I like to answer this question. Okay. I hope, okay. uh, no, I hope, uh, 
I will be second, <laughs> not the first. <laughs> that was that was awesome. <laughs> no, really kind. Oh my god! No, no. It's maybe it sounds rude a little bit, but mm, <clears throat> actually, uh, after my death, I don't want that my uh, spouse will marry someone else. Right. <laughs> I, I I want to be the only one. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yes. yes all right. <laughs> so yeah. probably it's better for him to be the first who. <laughs> <laughs> You're so kind. He's so lovely. Okay. okay, I see. And what about what about this situation? If he dies first, would you marry someone else? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, all right. So, all right, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got you. All right, but, well, but I suggest you to deal this matter with beforehand and, and talk about it. Because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. No, it's okay. quite a strange question. It's weird. Yeah, I, of course. Yeah. Yes, it is. I guess uh, you. But your your response was the best so far. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Sona. Um, you, we asked these questions. Uh -huh. What in your life would you not change? Um, in my life, what I would not change? You wouldn't change, yeah. What, what, what is in your life that you wouldn't change it ever? My family. Uh -huh. Okay, very good answer. And could you describe it a little bit if you like? Yes, my family uh, always support me. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it uh, uh, don't matter where I am or uh, uh, they, uh, they always be near me and support me. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not important of what uh, happened with me uh, in future mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they always be near. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, Dasha, uh, what are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for thank, thankful. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. For um, for the picture. Oh, uh, for the opportunity mm -hmm. to have a good education, and mm -hmm. uh, that my mom helped me to choose my career and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, of course, for the support that people gave me and my friends gave me uh, during my gave me during my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, um, Alina. Who are you thankful for? Who? Who mm -hmm. am I thankful? Uh, of course, I'm thankful uh, uh, for. Uh, I'm thankful for my for my parents uh, mm -hmm. and. Um, I'm happy that uh, they uh, uh, always uh, help me with uh, uh, different problems when mm -hmm. I face it and they always support me and uh, for example if I have uh, uh, crazy ideas or mm -hmm. something like that <laughs> my dad always says me like it's your life it's your choice and I will support you and but sometimes my mom said, like, are you crazy? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. No. Well, sure. Yeah. And thank you so much for your answers. Um, they were awesome. And I want to ask you, after the quarantine, what would you change in your life? Is there something that you would like to change or anything that you learned? during this quarantine? Actually, I don't know. I think the first thing after quarantine uh, uh, will be that I go to Ushorod and uh, uh, take all my uh, uh, stuff from uh, dormitory where I live mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because everything is there. Uh -huh. And uh, probably, I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, okay. I think my life will change, change because uh, I hope I, uh, pass, I will pass all my exams and uh, then 
uh, I, I will get this bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Very good. Ah, so this here is your graduation year? Yes, I'm getting my bachelor degree and oh, then... congratulations! Uh, wow, thank you! Yeah. <laughs> that's and, so nice. Uh, then I would like to take my uh, entrance exam for mm -hmm. my master's degree. Very good. Good job on yeah. that. Well, thank sure. you. Okay, nice. Uh, Sona, what about you? Um, after quarantine, I'd like uh, in future uh, more travel. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You'd like to travel more, okay? Yes, it's really mm -hmm. important to understand the whole world can. Mm -hmm. Sonia, we oh. can travel together because okay. I would like to travel as well. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, okay. sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dasha, what about you? Um, uh, I think I'm going to visit my grandma more often. Uh, mm -hmm. Because she is really old, she is about 81 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I think it's really important to understand that uh, this time we didn't spend together. I, th mm -hmm. I mean, during the quarantine, I just mm -hmm. uh, could call her, and that's really sad. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, now I understand that I need to um, um, to spend more time with my relatives and mm -hmm. friends because someday mm -hmm. it could happen that we don't have this choice. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so you are a very, you're kind of very uh, family oriented person, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah you value <laughs> your relatives and family very much. Very good. I wish that we all had someone like you in our relatives. <laughs> but, but most of the times, relatives are disgusting and you can't <laughs> handle them. But, yeah, I'm sorry for saying that. Okay. All right, very good. Um, what so about now, you, Sam? What for you, yeah. After quarantine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no change. In fact, no change. Like, I even appreciate this situation <laughs> because it's going well. I can cook more often. I'm eating better food since I can cook for myself. So I wish <laughs> that it wouldn't change and we'd be always <laughs> trapped in our houses for some time. <laughs> And yeah, it's much easier. I used to go to the different institute before, but now I'm having online classes. It's much easier. You're just at home and just five minutes before class, you're like ready to go. No mm -hmm. problem. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It has its own advantages and disadvantages. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to change anything, but I think it's needed that we get out of home for <laughs> after some time. Sure. Okay, and uh, uh -huh. I want you to make a sentence with if only what would happen mm -hmm. if, I mean, what would, what would take uh, place if we didn't want to have the coronavirus in our societies? If only what? For example, uh, this is just for making fun. It's not real. I'm not offending any Chinese people, but if only Chinese people hadn't eaten, I don't know, what was that, bat soup? Bat? <laughs> yes, it was bat. <laughs> we wouldn't have coronavirus all around the world. What do you say? What else did you say? Mm. Elena, you can start. Um, if only people had stayed at home, mm -hmm. uh, we would... Uh, uh, um, no. <laughs> if only uh, people had stayed at home, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, would uh, be healthier. We would have been have been healthier. healthier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right, Sona. I have no idea. <laughs> <Is it enough? laughs> okay. So yeah, say if only with something that you like. One sentence, not related to this situation. I understand. Uh, uh, not important this situation. Yeah, yeah. General situation. General, okay. Um, it didn't first. I think I have uh -huh. just to think. Okay, okay. Dasha, you oh, please. I, I, just, uh, I have the same situation. I just think about it and can't mm -hmm. find something in my head. Um, okay, one sec. Uh, if only. Uh, 
if only we uh, had uh, eight more vitamins, uh, mm -hmm. um, we would uh, feel better. <laughs> we, would, we would have felt. We ah, would we have felt. Yeah, we would have felt better. Okay, and yeah. Safer. All right. I need you to say one more sentence about uh, becoming an actress. <laughs> Me, Dasha. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Dasha. Uh, if uh, um, if only I um, had to became an actress, uh -huh. I. Maybe I would, mm, I would have been really famous. Well, yes, sure. Okay. Yeah, good job. Okay. <laughs> Sona, your turn. If only uh, we didn't eat so much uh, junk food, mm -hmm. we uh, would be more healthy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Nice. Okay. Very good. Now, do you have any question from me from any part? Or anything that we yes. studied today? Sure. I do uh, not today, but I'd like to um, ask uh, what difference is between I have and I have got. Sorry, I didn't. I have and I have got. I've what got no difference. difference. No difference between them. Sense. Yeah, but um, in British English, we uh, British people use have got more than half. But it's not a mistake if I no, say not. I have, yeah? No, no, there is no mistake. It's completely fine. I have a lot fine. other mistakes, but not it. Yeah, it's not a problem at all. It's okay. Uh, I have a question it's as well. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. So uh, with this have and have got, for example, if uh, I say, uh, I ask a question, uh, mm -hmm. do you have a cat, for example? And uh, um, have you got a cat? Is it correct mm -hmm. to say, have you got a cat? Yes, it's correct. But there is a slightly, like in this example, there it's just a small difference in there, but it's not a big deal. So it's pretty the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. One, one, uh, is there any other question? Uh, uh, what level um, in a uh, course do you teach? I teach from from uh, actually elementary to advanced. But I don't teach a starter because that needs Russian. So okay. yeah, I need element, I, I teach elementary to advanced. Mm -hmm. What else? Are you on Instagram? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Can we find yes. you? <laughs> sure, uh, my ID is Sam Miza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sam Misa, the same name as you see everywhere. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. What else? No more question? No. No? Okay. So take care of yourself. Hope you have a nice day and we'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye.